should be uh, up and running. Yeah, it says it's live. Check the audio too. You know. Shalom. Uh, first and foremost, we're going to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shah, Bashem, Rakakwadash. Also, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And salutations to all the brothers out there pushing his word in all truth and in all sincerity. And, uh, yeah, hey, you know, it's so called Christmas Day today. All right. Hey, but, you know, hey, look at America right now, man. Hey, it's falling. Hey, can you get that? What is it? Isaiah 24. The, the Lord's going to take the mirth out of this kingdom. All right, you know, because, you know, years back, man, especially like, you know, when we were young, you know, young, you know, basically children, man, hey, during this time, it, it was popping, man, you know, hey, you would go into downtown, you have, you know, the, you got the Christmas, you know, tree set up, the lights, people ice skating, having a good time, people giving out gifts, hey, but it's not like that anymore, this is uh, America 2020, man, you know, it's falling, you know, rapidly, okay, you know, nothing's, you know, uh, prospering. This is a decadent society. We were just talking about that earlier, how, like, like you said a second ago, this is, this, uh, you know, this day, uh, one of their favorite holidays, horror days right now. You know, usually you have people all out. You know, I say Target, you know, the stores, little pop, uh, pop, pop stores, they be open selling batteries or whatever. When people need that stuff. Uh, There's two, I think it was about two miles, I think Foster is from here. About two Target, miles just to grab Foster, food, man. Are. You know? Hey, but this place is shutting down. America is a corporation that's closing right now. It's evident. You know, and if you can't see it, then you're just a damn fool. The Lord hasn't opened up your eyes. They had uh, the idiots in downtown Chicago line up the cars to, just to get their Christmas gifts out the stores. That's how they do. Oh, that's probably what oh, yeah. these cars lined up for right here at Target, man. That's yeah. what's come to now. You know what I'm saying? The whole murph of going inside the Christmas store, I mean, inside the stores, of uh, 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 getting the, the joyous shopping and all this stuff. That's open, man. I remember all the people had but I didn't go. Like two, three o'clock in the morning to wait in lines to get inside the Toys R Us and the Best Buys and shit. That shit's over, man. It's right. done, man. People are waiting in food lines right now, man. Yeah. That's they wait, man. They say those food lines are out of control. Right. This is, uh. Started, uh. Started six, Bob. Yeah. Right. This is Isaiah 24 6. Therefore, I have the curse of the vow of the earth. They that dwell therein are desolate. Therefore, the heavens and earth are burned, and few men left. That's right. And uh, uh, the curse of the earth, all right, it's, it's, uh, you know, it's a twofold thing, okay? You know, it's going into the missiles, all right, because hey, a lot of people are going to die. You know, once those missiles are, are shot off, there's going to be a lot of death, man, in, in, in the streets of the world. America's going to be a wasteland. It's going to be through. Sure. And then just throughout the world, too. But also, that curse is talking about Esau, man. He's devoured the earth. Because what does it say? Now, I think Isaiah 34, man. It talks about how uh, Esau is the, uh, um, he's the, uh, uh, the Lord's cursed people. Okay? And he's the one that's been given power to take peace from the earth. He's that red force that's 
spoken about in Revelation the sixth chapter. And look at this place. It's done now. Esau is even uh, attacking his own people, so to speak, man. Okay? They can't even enjoy, you know, um, their blessings, so to speak. All right? If you're a lower level Edomite, hey, these top level, you know, top tier Edomites look at you as losers, man. You know? They, they say, and then we say, hey, you're us brothers, you know, say to those uh, low level, lower level Edomites, you're a two time loser, man. You're uh, you're gonna be a loser in the kingdom of Yahweh Shimei Al Shai, the kingdom of Yasharala, and you're gonna be a loser, and you're a loser on this side. That's right, no? double whammy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's right. That's why we laugh and joke about that all the time. Man. We see Edomites uh, in our neighborhoods. We see Edomites shopping in different stores by us, man. We laugh at this, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They broke, man. I remember, uh, you know what I'm saying? Years ago, solid ten plus years ago, my hustle was um, I used to do them surveys and shit. Okay. So whenever they hit me up, I go whether downtown Chicago, or out to somewhere, wherever, just do surveys. All right, I was here to around, say whatever. One survey I was in there, man. It was um, you know, what I'm saying they take different um people from different uh, uh financial uh, backgrounds. So you know, I'm a lawyer guy. They have some people in there or go over in the suburbs, the money. So they had one of the key questions they asked. They asked them talking about the dollar store, man. How they feel about the dollar store? White bitch like, oh my god, the dollar store. Oh, I would never be caught back and back. No, no, no. But guess what? Guess what's happening now? You can't go in a dollar store without seeing gazillion Edomites throughout the aisles and everything, man. Yep. They in there fighting for cars just like Jake in there fighting for things, man. Just letting you know that this shit is coming down. It's coming down, man. You know? I ain't know too, man. Um, uh, six. What is uh, Isaiah 24 is seven. The new one, the new wine, more than the divine language. All the merry hearted new side. Yeah, and that new wine's going into this new philosophy that's been pushed, you know, on the earth for years, man. Okay? You know, uh, basically, you saw Enoch's philosophies, all right? That democracy. Okay? That democracy, you know? And, yeah, that democracy. Yep, that, that democracy, hypocrisy, you know? And what did it say? That the new wine of uh, mourners, all right? The divine languages, all right? And you people are uh, basically um, starting to feel uh, the pain, man. You're starting to feel the choke, man. None of you people are happy. No one's, you know, uh, merry-hearted. Everyone, everyone's uh, in, a, in a low spirit right now. No one's happy. You know, you, you, you go down the street. Everyone's mean mugging each other. You go on the train. You know. <laughs> Everybody's happy. Oh, like, all this hope is ridiculous. Oh yeah, hey, uh, uh, I, I, uh, I had to go to the airport and I took a little trip. And I took the train. I didn't take, you know, an Uber or anything like that. Okay. And uh, so I took the trains. I actually did it on purpose, actually, to see how bad, you know, uh, uh, Chicago's got. Oh, yeah. Uh, the amount of homeless people on the train is unreal. Oh, they're, yeah, they're yeah. taking oh, over yeah. the CTA, oh, man. Come on, man. You, and, certain and, carts you can't get on because it smells so bad, yeah. huh? So yeah. <laughs> and, uh, hey, like how you were saying, you know, we are talking about the Edomites. There, there's a, a chunk of Edomites on these trains oh, now. Yeah. It's not just Jay. Yeah. Back in the day, all you would see was just, you know, uh, Jay. Well, it doesn't matter if it's the southern or northern kingdom. Now you got Edomites, man, on the train, and they, but it's That's funny because oh shit, yeah, I didn't yeah. know that. Hey, yeah, yeah. it's funny because you see, um, you know, you see the JK, they're dealing with the, you know, the punishment, they're dealing with it, they're sucking it up. You, uh, I seen these Edomites on the blue line, they, they, they were crying, man, Lose. and they were, hey, you can tell they were on like, heroin or something. Oh yeah, that shit hurt. This is yep. another thing too, because the serious Edomites are young Edomites because they got enough skateboards, but like the brother said, they don't yeah. dance, but they on a heroin. Over here in the neighborhood we live in, they be at Jules without the red line and begging for change in front of them. <laughs> 10, 20 years younger than me, begging for change and shit, man. You know, you ought to be, what, what did we say a second ago? You're a two time loser, your own king, queen, man. Yep. You know? But but once again, adding on to it, a year or two ago, just you wouldn't see it to this magnitude that we're seeing now, man. Yep. The CTA train is nothing but a mobile house right now for the homeless, man. Yep. You know what I'm saying? I'm walking up the stairs. You know what I'm saying? In some of these spots, like our, our stop is like a, a shithole pit hole, man, for, for the fucking uh, psychotics, the dope heads, and everything. I walk up, step to the train, it's, somebody that took the shit right here on the side of the fucking step, man. Also, you got pissed, because I go, I gotta go to work in the morning and shit, so I gotta go through this other man, go through this bullshit, man. So I see all that shit, it's, 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 it's magnifying right now, it's really, really magnifying right now, man. Yep. The murph in this place is leaving, man. Bums are have, unhappy right now, man. At one point, they was happy to come to our neighborhood. Because, like I say, our neighborhood is, is a resting spot. They cook their food. They had a little shelter over there. Everything for man. You know what I'm saying? Right, I got something for you right quick. This is like an Ezra's arm six. And, uh, I started 18. And it 
accept the holy days come that I will begin to draw nigh and to visit them that dwell upon the earth. We will begin to make inquisitions of them what they be that have hurt unjustly with um with their unrighteousness. Like the brother said, Esau is being visited, man. That's right. The Lord paid his ass a visit, man. One time, man, you ain't you ain't seen no damn homeless in the mic tonight. You might have to see them downtown Chicago be one on the corner, but now they're all over the train stops. They all over the CTA public um, stops, man. Like you, you can't even sit at a bus stop because somebody's sleeping on that motherfucker, man. They got them big ass covers, man. Bags. Bags. <laughs> like you said, smelling like fucking death, especially them women, man. Them women <laughs> got that that, that that vagina smell, man. The nigga woman is is taking over for the uh, for homeless too as well. Tearing their asses up. Oh yeah. And, and it's only gonna get worse. Why? Because I'm gonna keep reading. It says um, it says um, unrighteous, and when the affliction of Zion shall be fulfilled. Our afflictions about to be fulfilled, so that means it's time for the other nations to be afflicted, man. It's time for the curses to fall upon these other nations, man. Get <laughs> now they gotta feel poverty, they gotta feel the drug addiction, they gotta feel the um, no place, no shelter. Jake been homeless for a long fucking time with no help, man, especially a, a male, an Israelite male. Ain't no help for an Israelite male, but, but for the nigga woman, Latino woman, oh, come yeah. on, yeah, um, as long as you ain't got your bum ass boyfriend with you, come on, yeah. we got you. They, they got those women's shelters oh, that yeah. are specifically oh, yeah. designed oh, for yeah. women. Oh, yeah. You know? They got brights, they got everything. Yeah, all yeah. sorts of shit. What is that thing? Was it Wick? Wick, 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 you got powdered milk for the babies, man. Yeah, you got um, house, shelter, house, such house, and they. They give you housing, they give you apartments, shit. They got women got food. This, women got um, just these three different housing uh, things you go under, whether it be section eight, whether it be um, um, for abused women. All she got to say, he hit me, he hit me. They get, they get instant house and care. Within 24 to 48 hours, man. That's crazy. Man. Dude, but they, 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 he was falling with the serpent now, man. That's right. You know? Hey, they, they, her lover, you know what I'm saying? It's falling, so is she, man. She, she, hey, these uh, women are feeling it, man. They're feeling it, man. They're, 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 uh, like they're getting judged, man. You just, I mean, shit, you always posted in the, in the grooming. Oh, yeah. Hey, these women getting judged left and right by uh, ex boyfriends. Uh -huh. Random motherfuckers like this. Just, just, yeah, just, just kill them. You know what I'm saying? I know y'all seen that one in New Jersey. Uh, the nigga woman was walking down the street, man. Uh, she she, she, she laid on the side of the, the, the ground, holding her grill. Uh, and they're probably horrible. Get the police! Get some help! Hey, uh, go, some, come to find out. Jake tried to holler at her, whatever. She, she done uh, got all slap happy, told him, man, fuck you. We said, oh, yeah, fuck me. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, right oh. So the picture you see with that lady on the ground leaking in the ground, so she got hit in the face and she died off of that shit, man. Hey, they got a new 80 year old lady just got beat up and robbed, man. Mm -hmm. well, another one, they got two sisters, they both got killed, man. Mm -hmm. So the Lord is knocking you women off in numbers, man. That's right, two This is uh, Deuteronomy 30 and 7. And the Lord, Yahweh, Thy power will put all these curses upon thy enemy and on them that hate thee which persecuted thee. Yeah, it's a beautiful thing to um, see our enemies go down, man. Just like it says, um, just like if you see that they saw the children of Zion go into captivity, soon we're going to get to see their asses fall, man. That's what we're witnessing, man. A loss of businesses, a loss of income. That's the worst thing for an Edomite, for him to lose money, man. <laughs> to lose that position of power, man. He, he went from being a fucking CEO to being an Uber driver, man. He losing his mind right now, man. That Mark used to own businesses. Now he can't even find a place to work. He got to put out resumes, man. Okay. This devil going through it. Man. Right, um, I'm going to give you, like, right in the middle of this uh, pandemic when they first, in the middle, not the first, but in the middle part, I go to the, um, what's the sandwich spot? Uh, hot Bellies. Oh, the Hot Bellies, man. I see about, like, four, five, old school eating man. They're, like, six or seven years old. <laughs> I start busting. I'm like, man, I know one of y'all own this motherfucker, man. They look at me crazy. <laughs> it's like, man, we here to work. <laughs> Boy, once again, back to what we said earlier, man. You are a two-time loser in your own queen, man. That's why those lower-level Edomites around the world, man, hey, what are they guys getting set up right now? Militias, yeah. all right? You got all these uh, anti-government uh, uh, groups, you know, forming, man. And because they, they, they uh, uh, these uh, uh, low-level hillbilly redneck Edomites, they know that the Amalekites, all right, they know that they're screwing them out of their blessing, man. They know the schools. Yeah, and they're, they're pissed off. They're still pissed off about the fucking Civil War, man. Yeah, yeah. They're still pissed off about that, because really, the South never recovered from that. If you, that go to this, if you go to the South, it's a completely different uh, uh, you know, uh, poor, place, poor. man. You know, it's super poor. No one has money. I'm talking about even Edomites, man. Yeah, you may have like an Atlanta, Georgia. You know, you'll have like the one city that's got, you know, some money. But as a whole, though, those people don't got money like that. They never bounce back, man. Yeah, their whole system was built off slavery, man. Yeah. 
that was the main thing. The, the North was back because the South getting all this free fucking money. Plus, they had to flip the game. They were moving into a time of ingenuity, man. A time of, um, shit, what was the industrial revolution. Uh, revolution. So all that slave labor shit, man, that's a thing of the past, man. They need the motherfuckers working in, um, in factories, man. They was preparing for a whole new world, man. But them niggas down south, they was stuck in that old past shit. <laughs> but guess what? And it helped them out, because, man, once they lost their slaves, they lost everything, like the brother said. You go down south, pure poverty, bro. Like the brother was saying, man, I, I used to live out there in that, in that rural area. Like you said, it's Delta Street, man, like Atlanta. Now you go to Mississippi, you go to certain parts of Alabama, you go to certain parts of Louisiana, you know, these worldly dirt, poor ass Edomites, yeah. man. They ain't got nothing. They got nothing, man. You know what I'm saying? All of them all gotta work hard. And like the brother was saying, man, I'm gonna give you a quick story. I used to work at this one little bar or restaurant, and um, the, the uh, Edomite in the back was, a, was from Boston. You know what I'm okay. saying? So we had one of them heavy Boston accents. When he, when he get off work, he'd always have a drink at the bar. But he, you know what I'm saying? He start having drinks with the uh, other Edomites from the South. They would gather around and be like, man, you a fucking Yankee. Yeah, get on his ass. So the yeah. boss man at the bar had to tell him, like, man, you just got to get a drink and go to the back or some shit. Because, you know what I'm saying? I can't have you in here about to have a fight with the motherfuckers in here. They're going to tear your ass up in this bitch. It, it was, it's real unsafe for Edomites when you come down there with that, with that Yankee talk to that southern region, man. They want to they kick your ass, man. So they still have resentment from, from the Civil War, man. Right now, it, it, In the 50s and the 60s, um, yeah, you had Democrats and Republicans, but all their hatred was toward who? Niggas and Hispanics, man. But now, where were their hatred pointed at? Towards each other? Well, pointed towards other Edomites, man, the, the government. The, yeah. It's a whole new game. What do we always bring out, man? Inside these uh, different militia groups, they got everybody got their own agenda. Everybody got their own agenda. Antifa motherfuckers. You might have two or three of these homos. The other two or three in the front, they don't like homos, man. <laughs> Black Lives Matter is the same way, man. Uh, 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 Proud Boys is the same way. And they and how do I know this? Because a lot of these times when, when they go and interview these people, they'll, they'll talk to them Everybody and ask them question. The Everybody got their own agenda. Everybody has a different answer to, to what we're trying to uh, approve or what's the point of us being out here. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, how can two walk together unless they can agree in agreement, man? And these people, they're not in agreement because like the brother said, um, you're about abortions, you're about pro-life. Mm -hmm. You're about... um. Um, capitalist society. You're about spreading the money for everybody to get it. You're a Democrat. You're, you're a Democrat. Democrat. You're a Republican. Far left. Far left. Far right. Far fucking confusion, man. That's what you get out of this devil society, man. That's what, that's one of the main reasons the Lord is destroying this place, man. Too much confusion in Babylon, man. And the main thing is, who they? The children of Israel are still in captivity in this shithole, man. We just read the curses are flipping, so it's only gonna get worse for us. <laughs> Oh, hey, man, it says Jacob's trouble, the elect is going to be scarcely saved saving the times we're coming to, man. So if you ain't fighting for your fucking salvation, don't, we, don't, don't expect to receive salvation, man. That's right. Jake out here just sitting at the crib, um, yeah, I'm a Hebrew Israelite, ain't doing a damn thing. They calling on the name of the Lord and expect that he's going to be saved in time of trouble, man. These people are celebrating Christmas, right? Yeah, yeah. These people are, uh, man, they're, they're in their, they're, they're red and white fucking, uh, you know, onesie Christmas PJs, all right? Got the little, the elf hand on, uh -huh. all right? Yeah, the whole fucking right. family dressed up the same and shit, man. Yeah. Got to bow down to a fucking tree, man, going back to what? Uh, going back to the uh, Babylonian Empire, yeah. man. Nimrod. And Nimrod. Nope. You know, that, that's what they're doing right now. That's what the Lord's going to destroy them, man. It's the custom of the heathen, man. Hey, now, but see, see now, the, man, can you keep, keep reading Isaiah 24, oh, that's, man? That's, 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 hey, man, that's, 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 that's why the Lord is uh, um, sapping the mirth out of this place. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right there. Because of all that rebellion, you see, the Lord, he's the, uh, um, he's that power that rules in the kingdom of men. And he's showing you people that the Lord is doing all this, but you're too damn stupid. All right, or you don't even want to hear it. You're willing to, willingly ignorant, as the scriptures say, all right? To, and you're not listening to the men of the Lord telling you that this is why these things are happening. Hey, the people of this society don't recognize judge, judgment. <laughs> they don't recognize judgment, man. They thinking of, oh, he, he, he just happened to die that day. No, that was judgment of 
the how about you now? Why, Lord? Why? That car accident, that was a judgment of your how about you now, Rashad. Right. That's right. Your job. He was just a baby. <laughs> yeah, that, that was the judgment of your how about you now, Rashad. The Lord works in his ways, man. That's right. And don't, hey, it says none can escape the Lord's hands, man. Go ahead, huh? This is Isaiah 24 and 8. The mirth of Tabitha. Yeah, it's like, it's like, oh, it's like, yeah. No, no, 8. It's like, it's like. Um, Isaiah 24 8, the mirth of Tabitha C. The noise of them. Yeah, all the music. The niggas in the club making all that goddamn demonic noise, man. Fuck this nigga's woman, shoot this nigga. That's, that's demonic music, man. This ain't even no dance music, it's demon music, man. Yeah. Hey, that's why you in the club. Ain't nobody dancing. Everybody looking Being for like another motherfucker to shoot. Yeah. The bitch is looking for another bitch to fight. Nothing but aggression and hatred. Why? Because of the vibration of the spot, man. Hey, hey, the Lord said, hey, man, separate from these people, man. If you're mad at the Lord, you in the club, you done lost your goddamn mind, man. When they have a stampede in that bitch, you get stomped out, man. Don't be mad at your how about shit outside. Be mad at yourself, man. That's right. Shit, and now the Lord closed all these people. Oh, yeah, you know Nigga in the creek, they don't say, fuck you, motherfucker. Well, 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 uh, at least I, uh, get back caught with these gold clothes parties they keep getting caught up with. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They're trying, to, they're trying to hold on to that murder. You know, oh, they, they were charging hundred dollars a head for one of these parties. But, but they, but you, you don't really see that in the news. What do you see? Oh, a, a random house party on the west side. Oh, yeah, oh yeah. And then busting Jake. But then Esau, they'll have a fucking uh, four, a club. five hundred motherfuckers. Hey, they'll have three, four hundred people in the club. All right, and they barely show that. And like how these brothers are saying, hey, they, it's been happening a, a lot, man. Mm-hmm. All right, someone yeah. like y'all. They caught some politician's yeah. wife at a party. Daughter, daughter, daughter out there. Yeah. 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 What else? Um, uh, <laughs> politician's wife going to go get their nails done, get their hair done, but. Um, that's plus, yeah, that's let, let you open a barber shop and cut some hair, man, just to pay your rent for the month. Oh, sheriffs at your shit, police at your door. Uh-huh. Why? Because yeah. they hey, they not in trouble. Hey, man, like other men, this devil could get away with these things, but you, as an Israelite, you better be better follow the laws, boy. Yep. You better follow the Lord, laws, and the Lord gonna turn it up on you, man. That's right. And especially if you hear in our voice, if you didn't drove by games, the uh, drive by honk, you drive by honk. You keep word gangsters, the song here. Uh, no, trying to understand, but every five, five seconds you got something to go against. Oh, they talk too harsh. The computer oh, love gangs. There you go. You know, y'all, y- y- y'all hear this, y'all hear the words of the Lord coming out of our mouth, man. But y- are y'all gonna heed to it, man? You know, this is your chance to come back. What we were talking about earlier, how the internet's getting cut off, brothers getting paid and strikes left and right, man. Hey, what's another thing? Um, a lot of you so-called Christians, you ain't been at fucking church in damn near six to eight months, man. You hold that um. <laughs> Online service man, like like my man, what he said, he got the cure from COVID nineteen, and he blew, he blew, he blew the wind of God. Right. Hey, y'all believing in this madness, man? The Lord is not in these churches. Right. The Lord said, go on the highways and byways, man. That's where you gonna find the prophets of your house by shooting out shot, man. Hey, the Lord ain't set up Joel Osteen, man. Right. Nope. Satan set up Joel Osteen, man. <laughs> T D Jakes, Satan set them motherfuckers up. <laughs> Why five hundred one C three? They're not going out under the banner of your house by shooting out shot. Or you're only allowed to preach um happiness, you know, that universal yeah. doctrine. Prosperity doctrine. There you go, brother. That's it. That's Teach it, man. For the dollar. You know? And see right now the Lord is it, it, man, he he's he's breaking it all apart, man. He's shutting it down. Man, the Lord is not playing anymore. Hey, can you keep reading out? I got you. Bob Kusha. The noise uh the, the noise of them that rejoice in the the, the joy of the harp seats. Yep. They shall not drink wine with a strong with Salaki. They shall not drink wine with a song. If you don't. Strong drink shall be bitter to them that drink it. Yeah, so people, when they're drinking now, they're not drinking it to have a good time, be merry, go, you know, uh, go clubbing, you know, and, you know, dancing, you know. You know how people would be dancing, you know, for the, you know, for the holidays and oh, shit, yeah. man, you know what I'm saying? Uh, hey, that's dumb, man. They're, 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 hey, they're drinking because they're, they're trying to forget their, you know, their pain and sorrow. What's the number one thing I want to forget about 2020? How can yeah. I forget about this year? They're going to drink it away. Yeah, come on. Man. Drink like, your problems away till you fall asleep and then you wake right back up to the same issues. There you go, yep. Even worse. <laughs> Even worse because 2021 is going to be worse oh, than yeah. 2020. <laughs> yeah, I mean, shit, look what's going on right now, man. Hey, everything's locked down. Okay. You can't go to other countries unless you have a uh, uh, injection pass. Jab, the jab. All right, the jab pass. You know. Uh huh. Hey, I, when I was uh, out there in Boston, they said I think it was uh, I forgot the exact uh, uh, time frame, but somewhere time in spring, they said if you don't have there was two things. If you don't, um, you have to te- you for sure have to show that you tested negative, and or um, you have to have that vaccine. Uh, if you don't have 
you don't have those two, you can't go into Boston, bro, or like Massachusetts. You can't use uh, the Boston Airline, you know, right. uh, 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 the Boston Airport. Right. Hey, you know? so um, you truck drivers, man, you thought your job was secure. Now you can't go into, hey, what, give me that verse, man. It says a man with um, desire to go into the city, won't be able to. This shit, look what happened in the UK, oh, bro. Yeah. I got the delivery over here. We gonna take a trip and drop off this delivery. No, nigga, you ain't going nowhere. Your ass finna sit in that truck and them things, man. All that supply you got ain't gonna be delivered. You ain't gonna make no money. Business is finna close. Cause it's a lot of brothers with these, what, they trucking business. Yep. Oh yeah, everything's okay for me. I'm not feeling none of this, man. We gonna make money. No, you ain't gonna make nothing, yeah, man. You talk to them guys in the UK, they got trapped. Cut, cut, they, you saw them walking in the hallway. Yeah, there was like a thousand or so truck drivers <laughs> going that crazy. were trapped. They could not uh, Go leave the UK because the UK has got the new strand of uh, CV-19, okay? Uh -huh. Hey, call that shit CV-20. Exactly. All right, that's 2021. The, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Or 2021, whatever they're going to call it. Well, like right? you said, 20, because it's a 19 you're dealing with. So the next yeah. one is. It's going to be 20, right? CV-20. You seen in the movie, they said it was uh, CV-23. Yeah, so hey, this, this is uh, not by coincidence, man. All right, this is all happening. But point being, though, is, hey, those truck drivers were out there for, for like a, a couple of days. So Go they, were, uh, they were mad as hell. And you were getting friends. They done put all these shirts and clothes, hung outside the truck. They're like, hey, we here. We stuck, man. Hey, now, what did the truck driver say a month ago about shutting down America? They said they're going to shut down America. They ain't going to make no deliveries to none of these stores, man. Oh, yeah, so they're going to starve you people out, man. Well, well, to add on to what you just said, um, you know, this, this jab uh, medicine is out there. So what's the, new, what's the new business right now? They're they telling people to uh, go ahead and... Um, the truck drivers is to, uh, to go ahead and start delivering the jab medicine. You're gonna make more money, but guess what's that's, oh, gonna, shit. that's gonna stop the truck from bringing food in and shit like that. So now you're gonna bring food is about to stop coming in. So that's why prices are about to shoot up right now. Yeah. 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 Because it's, it, it's called uh, hyperinflation. Hyperinflation. Very, very, we, we've been talking about this for some years. Man. Oh yeah, we're talking about um, a $30 loaf of bread. <laughs> $30 <laughs> loaf of bread. Um, you want some milk? Oh. I hope you got $100 for that gallon, man. Okay, well look at the eggs. Nowadays, when you go to Jules, Jules try to sell you eggs. Uh, they try to do you a, a two for one. Two dollars for a dozen eggs. They're, they're forcing you to buy your product at the higher rate of the price. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Or, or, or a smaller product for the higher rate of the price, man. How do you know what else happened, man? You used to get a bag of chips, man. Even yeah. the bag, you got more air in the bag of chips than you got chips in that motherfucker, man. And that's, that's a sign of hyperinflation, man. Right? You're getting less for what you're spending in this society, man. You people don't see, hey, you go to, this my nigga, all he do is eat McDonald's every night, man. He said at one time he get a Big Mac for five bucks. Now he's spending fifteen dollars, damn near fifteen dollars for a Big Mac meal. So everywhere you turn, everything is going up, man. Your gasoline, the cost of living. But you know what didn't go up? Your check. The check ain't go up, man. The government is taking more out your money. They said the other day. We're about to tell you on the news. They said, uh, so right now, they said uh, $10 an hour, but so we're supposed to get 15 15 yeah, if you need so, it, let me know. Jake's on the news. Talk about, oh man, we just got a dollar raise, man. Everybody want to get a dollar raise. They went to $11. Hey, shit. Hey, hey, that's it. So, like, the one brother said he's sitting on the load right now. The truck about, driver. Truck, talking about truck drivers. You know what I'm saying? The brother said, hey, this brother, you know, this brother in our camp, bro. Right, like, right. Bro, you, you know, he'll be, you know, we'll be talking this shit and chopping it up. Man, it's, it, man, it's, this brother's been telling me for like years, man, like two years already, a year and a half, two years, how fucked up the trucking industry's been. Right. Man, this shit's through, man. Hey, can, bro, hey, can you get that, that second edge of stuff? What is it, uh, 15 or 16, brother? <laughs> yeah, let's get into that. You know? It. It's done, son. You know? Is there way, by any chance, was there more to this, uh, Isaiah? It is. It is. I, I think I'm 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 it. Yeah, yeah, can you hold that on deck still? And then, uh, we'll get that second edge of stuff. No, the, Isaiah, uh, Isaiah, just to finish it off so then we can get to you know, these other uh, precepts. Um, uh, oh, Isaiah 24 and 10. <laughs> it's saying confusion is broke down. Uh -huh. Every house is shut up. Yeah, the city of confusion is broken down. That's talking about America. America. Hey, because the brother was talking about how this place is called, spiritually called Babylon. Babylon the Great. What does Babylon mean? Confusion. All right, but ball in the Hebrew. This place is being broken down. It's, it's done. And look at all these people, they're, they're perplexed, they're scared, all right, they're angry. They don't know what the hell is going on, man, all right? And that's beautiful, man, hey, because, hey, these people, hey, they've been doing so much wickedness, man. And now, hey, the Lord is, is paying them a visit, man. Like, them a visit. Like, like how you uh, are writing that second edge of six, man. Paying them a visit. And, and they don't know what the hell is going on. And, and look, we're here to tell you why this is going on. 
you know? Hey, hey, we're the bringer of bad news, so to speak, That's to these right. people. <laughs> hey, but we bring good tidings to the elect, man. Okay? Uh, uh, Isaiah 24 and 10. The city of confusion is broke down. Every house is shut up. That no man may come in. Yeah, eventually, hey, th th it's going to be martial law. If you don't have a reason to go outside, man, and you're outside, they're going to shoot you, man. Or they're going to lock you up. Whatever they're going to do, man. That's what's coming. Hey, over in California, um, the only people locked me in your house is a family member, man. Woo. You can't have no friends over. You can't have nobody from the job over. Only people locked in your house is family member. Right. Read that line again, one, man. One, one, I said 24 and 10. The city of confusion is broke down. Every house is shut up. That no man may come in. Yeah, don't bring your ass right unless you're a family member because they're afraid. I just came from a family member crib. One of my cousins, she give me a hug. She gonna throw a mask on her face. Well, 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 I'm so afraid of this 19, man. Hey, man, they're going to turn people in. Um, do you have your pass? Yeah. Your, yeah. Even your old woman, she going to look at you funny, man. You want a hug, baby? I need to see your pass. That's what they're training the people to do. Papers. What, uh, papers. He, he still does a thing called the body conquer. You know that? And that's yeah. what he's doing. He's he's trained these people to basically uh, believe in him. And if you see, if basically, if you see anybody rebelling, they're an issue. Now, hey, point them out. You know, a, a report to the Portland. authorities. Uh -huh. All right, and get them, you know, uh, locked up. You know, like over in China, man, they got women walking around giving people points. If, if you don't say hello to this woman, you might lose a point. Okay. If you if you happen to pollute, you are gonna lose a point. If you jaywalk, if you jaywalk, you lose a point. You so it gets to a certain your points get so low, man, you can't even hop on a train or bus. Hey, certain places you can't even come out your house, man. And China was one of the spots where they, when the jab first got introduced, they was like, they had rows lined, them lined up, up, man. The they, they wasn't even arguing with it. They, some, of them, they, some of them said, man, you didn't even get tested yet. They're like, I don't give a fuck, I just want to take this. I just want to make sure I get the jab. <laughs> hey, that's the docile nation. Man, this is all uh, <laughs> very much, man. It's Isaiah 24 11. There is a cry for wine in the street. Yeah, and that wine, okay, that particular wine is talking about the, the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, man. Okay? And when, and when all hell breaks loose, because right now, it, it, it's still that call before the storm, man. People can still go grab food, go grab groceries. There's no um, martial law on the streets, okay? Everything is still somewhat intact. But when all hell breaks loose, Hey, you people are going to go nuts, and you're going to try to find the men of the Lord. That's why it says in Amos 8 and 12, man, that you're going to go from the north to the south, east to the west, from sea to sea, trying to find the men of the Lord, man. And you're not going to be able to find us, man, in that day. And if you are, man, hey, what does it say in Amos 5 and 10, I believe, man? Or is it 5? I forget. It's in the fifth chapter, though. It says, hey, the prudent man or the, uh, is going to keep silent in that day. Oh, Roughly yeah, paraphrasing. You, you, you think we're going to give you the name yeah. of the Lord in them days? Yeah, it says, because the days are evil, man. That's right. Mirth being gone. Yep. No more um, 
coming up with new stuff. Yeah, there's no creativity. Creativity. It's at all time low, man. Hey, then uh, going back to what you're saying, a lot of these like you know star celebrities, you know, the actors and all that. A lot of them, you think, man, they're hurting, man. They're hurting, bro. Hurting for certain. You know, they ain't making money, man. Look, hey, look, the brother said, look, the movie industry's closed. How do they make money? Fans only now, only fans. Oh, uh, shit. And when they say the bills didn't stop. Yeah, exactly. Right. America stopped, but your bills didn't. They got to they gotta do only fans. The women got to sell their ass on the only fans. Shit, put little objects in their pussy. Hey. They got a little money. They got to sell all the music. They got to sell they all their um, uh, uh, rights to the music. Oh, yeah. Hey, Esau, oh, kill me, right? He going to put a freeze on evictions, but he didn't put a freeze on your bills. Again. You gotta, every month, you got to pay that bill, man. Yep. Every Okay, you froze me for three months. I owe three months worth of bill. Where the fuck am I supposed to come up with this money, man? What's going on, man? I got a precept that the brother put up. Uh, Hosea uh, 2 and 11. It says, I will also cause all her mirth to cease. Her feast days, her new moons, her Sabbaths, and all her silent feasts. All right? Hey, going to, you know, from, uh, uh, from Esau's, you know, uh, kingdom. It's even our own people, man. You know? They're all to this, you know, uh, this mirth, this folly out here. Hey, the Lord's ceasing it, man. He's making it uh, stop, man, right before your eyes. Right. You know? And it's only going to get worse, man. Hey, that's what we keep telling you people. It's only going to get worse. All right? That's why hey, we're telling the elect, hey, prepare yourself. Get ready for a bumpy ride. Because it ain't going to be easy, man. Hey, you, you, you're going to have to be a pilgrim, man, as the scriptures talk about. You're going to have to go from house to house, so to speak, place to place. You know? You're going to have to be on the move more than likely. You know? Hey, but you got to have that faith in Yahweh Bashim Al Shad that he's going to take care of you. Because look, the elect is going to be taken care of. You know? We don't know how, but the elect is going to be taken care of. Hey, what does it say in Sirach 2 and 10? Look at the generations of old, man. You know? Have I basically forsaken those that have put their trust in me? And the answer is no, man. That's why it's important to read, man. That's why I said, blessed is he that readeth. Okay? Because you look at what happened in the past. And you can say, hey, wait a minute. Hey, did the Lord feed Elijah? Okay, by with the ravens. Hey, hey, weren't the uh, three holy children protected when they got thrown into the the the, 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 the that, that furnace? You know, you know, you you gotta uh uh uh. You, that's why you gotta read, man. So so well, hey, when that when those afflictions and that, and that um that time of trouble hits you, hey, you can always remember. Hey, well, the Lord did this for that. You know, uh, uh man of the Lord or that or this. You know. All right. Right. Twelve and uh, verse three. In the day when the keepers of the house shall tremble, and the strong men shall bow themselves, and the grinders cease because Ooh. they are a few. <laughs> and this scripture has been coming to life this year, man. You know the year uh, 2020, man. That's right. A lot of these moms and pops businesses didn't survive this. Uh, you know, a pandemic, man. Yeah, All like sixty percent right? of them was closed. Well, yeah, it's well, something crazy like that. Yeah. And you said they didn't survive this year. You just wouldn't we just say Oh yeah. Twenty twenty one. It's going to be worse. a lot worse because this is another thing. It's like I to cut you up, brother. They said right now this is supposed to be a money maker. They're not making no money right now. Yeah, your, your, your stores, well, the cars got to pull up. What is that? That stops foot traffic to these stores. When people come in, how many times have you went to Target and said, man, I only come to buy a pack of batteries and something goofy? And then putting the whole cart of the shit in there. Yep. Those days are over with, man. Those wow. days are over with, man. And they try to blame it on places like Amazon, online shopping. Hey, man, how they doing all this shopping online? They ain't got no money, man. Don't you see what's going on in society? is closed. A lot of people ain't got no money to shop. That one was it, $1,200 stimulus? That's nothing. That didn't stimulate nothing. That was funny. <laughs> like how they were saying, they're giving you a $1,200 check, right? For $100 for each month of my, uh, my problems, that's it? You know what I'm saying? You know? Come on, man. One shot, one beer. One shot, one beer. And those that look out of the windows be darkening. Hey, man. You look at the future of America, man. Hey, it's not looking pretty, man. Right, right, no. right there. <laughs> look, 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 we got, we got like three people in their apartments in this spot building right here. They're probably four exchange students over here. Yeah, you can do it all the way to the top. He's ready to go, bro. He's contemplating it right now. He's probably going to slit his wrist already. He just wasn't him train out right now. Hey, man. Look, 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 you know? Yeah. Hey, that's what you're gonna start seeing too, man. Increase the suicide. Alright. Oh, 
Hey, 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 look, these Edomites, man, or these, um, what is that, the, uh, 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 the media, you're not going to be able to, um, to basically make a blackout on it. Because, you know, they always do that. You know, they always try to, you know, black out certain stuff. Man, it's not going to happen, man. There's going to be so much going on. That they're going to have to report it. Just like they try to block out that opioid addiction. But guess what? The Lord, the Lord showed us you guys was going down. Man. Yeah, that's right. You know? I love trying to block out what is bad for Esau. Oh, well, we can't show this. We can't show this, but let it be this part of the um, southern kingdom. Yeah, let's expose them. We, hey, we the number one thing on the news. You done stopped us so much. The Lord said, hey, motherfucker, it's your turn, Esau. You yeah. got to feel some suffering too, man. You got to feel the pain too, man. Read that, brother. Uh, verse uh, 4, Ecclesiastes 4 and 12. From 4 and uh, uh, 12 and 4. So not. And the door shall be shut in the streets when yeah. the sun. Hey, go, hey. Go to downtown Chicago right now. Oh, hey, it's a damn ghost, ghost town, town, man. Ghost town. It's a ghost town. During this time period, man, hey, you, you, you know, I think you guys are a little bit older than me. Hey, that stuff was uh, uh, booming right now, man. You had, you had, you had the windows you know with, the, uh, with all sorts of little weird, uh, yeah. little, little, uh, you know, little, uh, little candles. Cracker, what is it, what? Uh, uh, nutcracker candles? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All that, just the mur that was the mark for this place, though. You, you, had, you had the pedophile Santa Claus all over the place, man. Having dollars of kids on his oh, life. Yeah, man. And he got a hell of a, a record. Oh, he been drinking liquor all day, got an erection on. You bring your motherfucking kid to sit on this pedophile side. He just got in jail. Hey, this place is sick, man. Yep. Hey, it's true, man. It's, it's true, man. Hey, the doors are darkened. Hey, all you do, all you see, like right here across the street, you know, for rent side, for lease, you know, for sale. You know? Yep, it's done, man. Well, oh, you tore the store right there, right? Come on, man. That shit's done. That's a, a sign of the murder. The subway's closed. Um, man, we keep bringing. Cafe, I rip it like Dolce. Right, that, they didn't even get to open. <laughs> no, it was one of these little cafes over here that didn't even get to open, man. You know what I'm saying? What, 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 what did I say about memory of Viola? We had Viola College right now. Um, they had to cut half their food staff. Yeah, I was telling exactly. you about that shit. The only people who've been in there was a sports scene. This place is finished, man. And who's going to watch the sports games? People can't even go to the sports games. Uh, what, do, what do we call it? Uh, elevated practice or something like that? Oh, yeah, man. Motherfuckers. Scrimmage. I'm going to go scrimmage. Scrimmage. And the door shall be shut in the streets when the sound and the grinding is low, man. That's right. So, hey, man. No. Hey, we're not hearing the construction workers, though. Uh, putting the new roof or cutting the grass, or you don't hear the factories, you know, uh, yeah. with smoke out or with the loud machines anymore. Man. You know what you hear? You see hear a lot of fucking ambulance going on, man. Yeah. A lot of killings, a lot of um, car accidents, a lot of carjackings, a lot of husbands shooting wives, um, a lot of wives. You told me a wife that killed her husband, man. A lot of you women, you about to turn up, man, because you been tired of looking at that nigga in the crib, man. That nigga oh, money. Hey, he's being the money in the ass. Because yep. hey, that's what they've been reporting too. Uh, all domestic, this domestic uh, uh, violence and abuse oh, yeah. right now going on. A lot of you fathers, you in the crib popping your kids and shit. What the man? fuck, the man? Being God exposed. damn, bro. Yeah. Salaki, yeah. that just blew me, bro. Because yeah, I know what's going on. I said, I know what's going on. You said it just blew me, though, man. That's why the Lord is doing all this, man. Because, yeah. Hey, man, hey, judgment has to come down because you people are so damn wicked, man. You got to get that recompense, that's man. Right. You got to get that judgment. And you think your wickedness to continue going on come year on. after year? Year, year. No, man. We're not out here like that, man. We're doing the Lord's work, man. The Lord said this has to come to an end, man. This, this kingdom has to come to an end, man. Yeah. And he shall rise up at the voice of the, of the bird. So, hey, uh, you know, basically the, 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 the saying called early bird, you know, the birds, they wake up in the morning. They start chirping in the morning. You wake up in, yep. in the morning to the voice of the bird. Nature's alarm clock. You're not gonna be, you're not gonna, there's not going to be any work, man. Mm -hmm. Hey, right. the new alarm clock is going to be that, that yeah. stomach dead. You know, when you're hungry, all your hungry. That's going to be your alarm clock. You're going to wake up like, God damn, I ate three days, man. And then you're going to go into your kid's room next door. You're going to bash him over his head. Boil that bag. 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 Boil that to that bitch, you know, the Cardi Walk. B. Mega Walk. Stallion. Walk. Uh, Takashi 6 9 Oh my God. Et cetera, you know. And a lot of our people, a lot of uh, Israel, man, uh, Jake, idolized Takashi 6 9 man. Idolized yeah. Cardi B. A lot of these women idolized uh, the, 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 uh, the wickedness. The wickedness, you know. Yeah. This place has got to go, man. Uh -huh. what, what do you say, man? Um, Chicago uh, is known for that death music, for this uh, suicide music. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. The trap. <laughs> the world now is gravitating towards, man. You got idiots in other states talking about, man, yeah, man. Uh, uh, if it wasn't for Chicago, man, we would 
that, man, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be able to do music, man. So guess what, man? This, this music is being bought low, man. Right? Yeah, hey, when I was talking to the shit. brothers in Boston, man, they said, hey, man, special judgment's coming to Chicago, oh, yeah, man. Yeah, they yeah, they yeah, said, sure. for all them niggas out there, man, fucking with that trap music and just doing some wild ass shit. Bro, I'm like, man, I hate niggas from Chicago, bro. Bro, dude. Hey, it's, bro, it's, it's a demonic ass city, bro. What we be saying? Remember, that's to the spirit. We was just talking about that, how our own shit. neighborhood. We, we said our own neighborhood got a demonic spirit upon our own neighborhood. Like, <laughs> the demons is right over our neighborhood. Cause people would get shot up when they get, um, what's you call them, little urn? Uh, oh, yeah, the, um, uh, you know, like Orioles. When the nigga get yeah, killed, yeah, man, they yeah, yeah. got the, the flowers and the candles. Hey, man, almost every three steps, you take it to a fucking flower and a candle where we at, man. Or you can <laughs> just, you, you, you walk and not pay attention, you just stop right there. Stop over a nigga's <laughs> candle. Oh, shit. Hey, I, nigga, what you doing on that side of the street, man? Fuck hey, man, you, man. Fuck you, nigga. Get that shit out of the way. Y'all, y'all suffering, man. That's right, man. Hey, the Lord said, um, what you said, um, put it on our children, right? When they, um, when they crucified the Messiah, man. And guess what's happening to your children now, man? They, they dying young. You got a lot of kids dying, man, out here, man. Who catching the bullets? Little baby be in the back seat just about, wow, nigga, little nigga head in the motherfucking seat right next to him. Man. Lord, he, he was upstairs in the second church, right before playing. The bullet, the bullet, though, went upstairs, flipped over the table, and knocked his ass off the shelf, man. Huh? Who do you think doing that, man? Y'all buy shit me outside, man. That's right. The Lord is killing these kids, man. Right. And they be like, what did the kids do? Can you get that precept up? I got this precept. I'll get that one precept up. This is the book of Second Narratives, chapter 15, verse 14. Woe to the world and them that dwell therein. Yep. Exactly. So destruction unto this world, man. And anybody that lives in this place, man. All right. And we're not living in the... What does it say in Ecclesiastes, the third chapter? There's a time and a season for everything. Right, hey, we're in the, the time of war right now. This ain't the time of peace. Hey, this is the time of death, agony, destruction. All right? Judgment. That's the time period we're living in. Vision, separation. Exactly. Yep. Um, you're in the time of um, what you dealing with a medical warfare. You got um, the, the 19, like the brother said. What you got the 19 is out here for to help with the population control, man. Oh, it's only gonna get worse. It's only gonna get worse. And who's the main population they want to control? The children of Israel, man. It's too many of us, man. Even in the Bible, it says they it says we are as the sand of the sea. Yeah, and they say it was in the Book of Exodus. They want Pharaoh afflicted us more. They multiply more. They multiply more. Exactly. What do you think, man? Uh, man, Jake's having babies left and right, Right man. now, right now, exactly. Like, oh, you see, man, hey, my, my woman be telling me, oh, he has my, my, old, my friend from high school, and they got, uh, she's got another kid coming, she got like two, three, four kids ready, you know, like, my cousin, this, that, you know, my, my personal cousin, having babies, like, it's wrong. It's like, you're right, man. Yeah, Jake be having kids at the age of 15, 16, 17, that uh, these uh, mothers should have been dead to right, man. Ready, so. Edomites dying than uh, 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 uh than are born now, man. Uh, yeah. You know that's a curse. Yeah, because yeah. he's, he's starts yeah. trying to he's just trying to exterminate us, man. So the Lord's gonna exterminate you. Perfect. He that dig it though, but the shall fall the man. Keep going up. Shit. Second this is the book of Second Air, chapter 15, verse 15. For the sword and the destruction draw off not, and one people shall fight up, shall stand up and fight against another. And that's what's gonna happen, man. And that's what's happening. You got, uh, uh, hey man, uh, race wars brewing. You got civil war brewing. You got class wars brewing. Okay? That's what's coming, man. Just destruction and warfare all over the place. You're not gonna be able to escape it. Hey, you, you're gonna try to go into the damn woods. You're gonna, you're gonna see some Edomites, you know, with fucking camel on, bro. Ready to, uh, to eat you, man. Uh -huh. so you're gonna get hit with the arrow. 
and in your in your fucking uh, cat, you're like, what the fuck? You're gonna be like limping and shit, and you're just gonna see like three Edomites coming to you, man. And they're gonna fucking, they're not gonna kill you. They're gonna, they're gonna make sure that they, they cut they're you preserved. up. They're they're preserved. They'll, they'll cut off your leg, eat That's that for that the day. day. Yep. All right? Because, oh yeah, cannibalism's coming back. Oh, yeah. By the way, people. Really hey, they, they show you that in uh, the middle of the road. Uh, no, uh, the road. The road, yeah. They show you that in the road, man. Hey, they did what? It was the, the son and uh, the father and the son. They were just, you know, on their travels. They go into that one, uh, that, uh, that farm uh, house. They go into that, that, that thing, uh, that house. They, they go into the basement. There's like fucking 20, 20 people chained up to the damn oh, yeah. wall, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah the but... head, half of them have like uh, one leg missing, one arm right. missing. Uh, because they, the people that, that, that ran that house were, were uh, um, they, you know, they were cannibals, they were cutting them up, uh, uh, you know, cutting these people up limb by limb, preserving them, oh, you know? Uh, uh, and, and, uh, that brought me too, you know, and cannibalism brought me to say, you know, Esau just did a video about how Esau had, uh, what do they call that shit, tiger meat, man. They eat raw meat, man, raw hamburger meat. Raw meat, period, man. What the fuck, On the holiday, man. They put onion on it and salt and pepper and eat it raw, man. I was watching Judge Dredd, man. What, they was eating that rat burger. I yeah. told Judge Dredd, you know what you eat? No, not Judge Dredd. Um, what's that with him? Wesley Snipes. He went to the future. Demol show. Demolition, yeah, man. Demolition, man. He went to the tours. They're eating that rat meat. They said, you know, eat rat meat, man. He said, look, I ain't ate so long. I don't give a fuck. That's how bad it's going to be. He's so desperate. You're going to eat whatever meat you get. You got a fast one? Yeah, I got a fast one. Book of uh, Sally and be like, which one is it gonna be? And, and, and it's gonna be. Hey, see that that's an agonizing thing. You're gonna have to. You're gonna have. You know, sons and daughters. They're gonna be like, damn, which one? Who's gonna? Who do I gotta kill first? <laughs> that's fucked up, that's man. Dumb, man. Come on, I gotta feel you. What? This shit is real, man. Okay. See, that's why. It, Hey, the people will be like, oh, I'm just gonna die, you know, when they yeah, don't, right. talk about like, hey, the Lord's gonna be killing people and whatever, you know what I'm saying? That's like, well, we're all gonna die one day. No, the Lord can prolong your death, man. He can make it the most agonizing, uh, terrible thing ever, man. He's gonna preserve you for persecution. <laughs> this, this shit is real, bro. That, uh, hey, that's why we fear you, how about Shemel Shai, because we know that the Lord is the king of terrors, man. That's right. And we're, we're scared, man. No, we're scared. That's why we do what we do. That's why we're out here. It, 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 boy, it's like 10 degree weather right now. Summer, I don't even know why. It's cold as hell, man. It's cold as fuck, man. Through the fear the most high, man. For sure, yeah. man. To we're, turn and repent. Hey, hey, we're, we're doing this because we're scared, man. We, we, this is our uh, was it reasonable service, yeah. you know? Yeah, who the hell want to be out here in this kind of weather, man? Unless the Lord told you to come out here in this type like of weather, bro. That's right. But these are uh, kind of way uh, striking through the water. For, yeah, for you're gonna go from two hundred pounds to hundred and ten. Hundred and ten, man. Number of skin and bones. You're gonna man. be looking like Christian Bale. You went from that Batman role. He was all buff. And he played that other movie. That one rock. I think huh. it was called the Mechanic. Was he was like what, like a hundred pounds? pounds. All you saw was bones. You know? That's what you're gonna be looking like. You're gonna be looking like them kids from Ethiopia. Just yeah. through. And you see them kids. All they got is that air bubble in their stomach, man. This ain't no joke, man. Nope. Everything's oh, a damn joke good. until it, you know, comes to your fucking doorstep. Well, look, Jake, the only thing that's going to straighten Jake out is because Jake already felt death around himself. We already dealing with death in our neighborhoods. That ain't a problem. The Lord done threw the drug addiction on our people. That ain't a problem. So what's going to be the thing to straighten you out, man? That hunger. No food. <laughs> You're going to tighten up. Verse 10. The hands of the pitiful women have sodded their own children. The sodding goes into basically like... Steaming them alive, boiling them alive, man. You gotta really picture that. You gonna boil your damn child, man? Rotisserie Roy. You got a little son yeah. named Roy. You gonna rotisserie his daughter. You gonna saute your man. daughter. That, that's some ho horrific stuff, man. But it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. Uh, you, you're gonna be, you got, you know, neighbors, whatever, whether you live in an apartment complex, you know, you got somebody on a house next door. You got kids, and hey, next thing you know, man, when that, that, that time of evil comes, you just gonna be hearing kids screaming, bro. A lot of screams, crying. Hey, even the parents gonna cry, man. Yeah. Think about you, you just ate your child, but now yeah. for the rest of the week, you gotta cry over your baby you just ate, man. You gonna, man. Well, while they're doing it, while, while they're, you're doing it, while you're, you're killing the, the baby, 
You know what I'm saying? You do them, you cry, you're like, like, oh God, I'm so sorry. You know what I'm saying? Bro? And then this shit is real, man. Like, you gotta put put yourself in the in these situations, man. Yeah. That day, that, that, going back to what we're saying, that fear of the Lord, man. That's why we're, hey, we're like, man, we're trying to get um right right now, man. We're trying to uh, have the Lord look at our righteousness and not at our wickedness, man. Hey, what does it say in the scriptures? In, in, in uh, Habakkuk three, the first, uh, three and like one, I believe. Hey, in your wrath, remember mercy. We're praying to Yahweh Hashem to have mercy upon us and our families, man. That's right. Because this shit is gonna be unlike any other time period, man. Because the wrath of the Lord is coming. Yep. You got more to that or no? Uh, they were there beaten in the destruction of the daughter of my people. Oh, yeah, man. Right. People gonna be eating each other. Doesn't have a good name. Okay, go hop back into that second Ezra. Hey, I'm probably gonna cut somebody's hand off and put it in two pieces of bread. <laughs> you gonna oh, have a sandwich with somebody's hand in it, man. You're gonna be like, oh hell no, this is you gonna be seeing hey, some Jay, fearful sights, man. They gonna throw some lemon pepper on <laughs> this. Oh, lemon pepper, man. <laughs> on the fucking head. Sandwich, a handwich. <laughs> he got a handwich. <laughs> <laughs> Verse 16, for there should be sedition among men. Yup, and that goes into that uh, uprising against the government, whether it be an actual physical uprising or whether it be verbal. And that's what we're seeing right now. We're seeing the verbal part. All right, you got, you know, everyone, you know, all these militia groups, whatever, you know, these uh, KKK, skinhead, whatever, uh, Proud Boys, saying all this stuff, oh, we're going to do this and do that to, you know, the governor, whoever, you know, blah, blah, blah. Just that, talk now. You know? <coughs> <laughs> you, you had some of them, they, they were going, I think it was in Kentucky or West was Virginia. Office. They went to the damn uh, state, their state capitol, man. Like that bitch. They had all their guns, they're like, no sir, hey, uh, we're not dealing with this. I can just uh, happen to get the other day, um, they went into one spot, man, the police started fighting them, man. Yeah, and some dude pulled out something with blue, and all you see was this, this blue chemical all over the area. You're like, man, this shit get real, bro. And you had another dude, he came with a sledgehammer smashing um, the politicians in the window. So Esau's getting upset over this 19, man. Getting upset over no businesses open. College is closed, man. His, his kids can't go to school. He can't run his business, man. He's he losing his mind, man. This was his sister. Yep. Hey, guess Thank what? Hey, we ain't losing we nothing. Because this was never our society, man. We ain't losing nothing. We've been waiting for this place to go down if you're a man of the Lord or his like. Second Nephi chapter 15, verse 16. But there should be sedition among men, invading one another. And they shall not regard their kings nor princes. And yeah, the hey, it's going to get so bad, there's nothing that a politician can say to stop what's going on in the streets. Come on, everybody, go in your house. No, there ain't nobody going in their house, man. Oh, um, this is a curfew. It's a 9 o'clock curfew. Ain't nobody going to follow that curfew. Why? There's no reason to listen to you politicians, man. And some of them are going to get caught up. They're actually going to get kidnapped, man. They're going to be put to death. Huh. They show that, I think, uh, what was that, the, the, the third Batman? Bat, the last, that last yeah. one? What, what they? I killed with Bane. Yeah, with Bane. I yeah. think they had that. They were in that court system, or that courtroom. They had uh, the Scarecrow guy in there. He was the judge. And there was that one politician that came up. And what did he say? Uh, 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 was it execution or, or banishment? And he's like, oh, I'll take banishment. And then he had to walk on a fucking... Goddamn, uh, was it the ocean or something that was uh, a full of ice? And it's like, bro, you you walk on thin ice, and, you know, at any moment you're through. Yeah. You know, that's how it's gonna be, man. It's, they're not gonna follow uh, the laws and rules and regulations. It, it, it's gonna be anarchy, man. And hey, there's something called summary of execution. Oh yeah. That's when um your military, your police, whoever's in charge can just lay you down, man. They, they uh, judge they dread. You. Yeah, they ain't gotta read you no rights. They ain't gotta tell you why they gonna kill you. They, um, that's just. Uh, that's that Judge Dredd. Yeah, exactly. And you, all you, order you, and yeah. execution. Yeah, all in one person. That's common, man. Yes, sir. This shit, man. See, a lot of people, they, man, they, oh, my constitutional rights, man. Why, why you say constitutional, <laughs> man? You're going to get hit with the M fucking 16 in the face, man. That's right. My rights. Wow. Rights to your dog. I got the rights. Prepare the guillotine for him. That's why they got these guillotines coming back. My amendments tell me. No, keep going on. Your princes in the course of their actions shall stand in their power. Yep. Verse 17. A man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be aid. That's right. That's that, uh, that um, when martial law is fully implemented. And we're starting to see it, okay? You can't travel to certain countries. You got rules, regulations, restrictions. Then it's going to go from there to, uh, what is it, from state to state. 
then after that what city to city and then even like how in chicago right you got what several different neighborhoods i forgot how many you're not even going to be able to go from neighborhood to neighborhood man they show you then that move they game the uh the, uh the division man all right and you go from one uh neighborhood to another so man it's a whole another fucking war zone man that you're entering into remember they cut the rights in downtown chicago what they do they cut off uh downtown that's actually downtown chicago yeah that's the right. so, so that's how easy it is you say desire to go to the city to city uh at my job right now if, if we go from we leave the state of illinois and go to wisconsin yeah any state around here you know any state period because that's considered a red state you gotta report to the job let them know that we left this state this and that and, and i don't report our symptoms this and that man you know so it's just getting people groomed for the times where they're coming to where you have to report everything let the per let big brother know everything you're doing you know <laughs> yep uh, the RFID chip is, is intact, right? You know, these things we're talking about, man. But y'all took it as a game, as a joke, man. The time we're coming to, man. Well, I have a dream about, about the interns and how blocks was blocked off with concrete barriers and shit. And you, yep. had, and you had soaps on every building. You want every building. You take people goods and shit like that. That's what my dream was about one time. And yeah, so it goes right to the block just dream or something. That's right. I'll show you that in that movie, The Songbird, man. You're gonna, and then you're gonna have, uh, you're gonna be in your crib and you're gonna have military checkups. They're just gonna, uh, you know, come in. Oh, oh, you know? they got a new movie with you know, girl and hit the, uh, check the temperature. Like, hey, oh, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Yeah. Get in here. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, you know, uh, you, you sign any sign of sickness, whatever, or they, 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 they see you uh, plotting and planning and, you know, scheming, so to speak, on the government. Hey, they're gonna snatch you up, man. Either, either execute you or throw you in a concentration camp and torture you. And that, that goes to what we talked about earlier, how the sedition of men is about to be playing a, a large role in this place, how people gonna turn on each other, man. Households are gonna turn on each other, man. Mm -hmm. I just did a video yeah, today. That's cold. What was that? I just did a video, I thought you said something. I, I just did a video today yeah, about how, um, how how this chick was in uh, Florida and how her how she was recording how her crib got raided by the police because she wouldn't um she said that she wouldn't manipulate the uh, COVID-19 stuff. Which, like me and Kawhi have been saying lately, like, man, everything is damn near what we see right now is damn near like a movie script. Like, this shit, who's the same? That shit wasn't scripted up, man. Like, they just did that shit just to show more division. Or maybe this shit was real. I don't know, man. We don't know right now. We're just bored by the spirit, man. You know? The spirit tells us to get out here and prophesize the, the downfall to this bitch. That's what we're going to do, man. Yep. So, more to that or not? Yeah, keep going now. Keep going to 19. Come, come, come. For this is the book of 2nd chapter 15, verse 18. Because of their pride, the city shall be troubled. And that's the main reason why the Lord is doing this. Because this is the most prideful kingdom. The most anti-Messiah kingdom that you can think of, man. That's ever been created. This thing is it's literally just straight contrary to the ways of Yahweh, Bosh, right, right. You know, straight uh, contrary to the ways of life. That's why the Lord, you know, hey, this place sold so much death, now it's reaping death, man. They got something called Fire Parade. And what does that do? All they do is do everything in reverse, man. Let the man poke them in the back, man. Women, women, women man, and shit, weird shit. Got little kids in there, little too. Kids. You push, got push, the, uh, pushing that uh, pedal agenda. You got that. You got the half men half wearing uh, bank, uh, bikinis and shit in front of the little kids, yeah. man. Exposing themselves. You know what I'm saying? And, and this is okay. They get that whole. It used to be a day, it used to be a week, now it's damn near a whole month for that shit, yeah. man. But weird, man. It's getting, it's getting, it's getting uh, the parade's getting longer and longer. But, you know, oh shit, it might not be a parade this year. Brock and Thayal, Brock and Thayal, shy on that. Yeah. You know? Oh, well, you have about shit on shy. But, man, this, man, they'll think of something for the weirdos, man. Because, you know, man, they think, man, it's a weird place, man. They think of something, man. You know oh yeah, something will happen. Yeah, something will happen. But shit, it, it ain't looking so, so you know, so called too good out here. Oh no, no, people. not at all. You know, that's part of that birth too. And that pride is done. Yep. Keep reading. Houses shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid. Yep. Houses are gonna be destroyed, and the men shall be afraid. Okay. Cause hey, man, all you mighty men out there, lift the weights. You know, you know how to, you know, box a little bit. You know, kickbox, do jujitsu, all that stuff, man. You know, some of you guys are in the army, I man. When that day comes, man, you people are gonna be afraid, man. Because you're gonna have no answers. That's why it says in Isaiah 33 and 6, man, wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of that time. And that day, man, we'll, that's the, 
that's what's gonna uh, 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 keep us calm, cool, and collected. That's right. That's right. Okay? And it says what? Uh, uh, through knowledge, the just shall be delivered. Okay? That's how we're gonna get saved. You people, man, you're gonna try to buy your way out. You're gonna try to do all sorts of things. And then you're gonna finally try to plead to the Lord about that point. It's gonna be too late, man. wants us to go to him for everything, not Esau, mm-hmm. all right? It's like for when you're dealing with a woman, you, you don't want your woman to go to with another man, you know, or believe in something else, you don't want that, that's going to upset you, man, that's going to make you want to, uh, divorce her, you know? That's why the Lord is mad at us right now, because we poured ourselves off to the other fucking yeah. idol and shit, what did the Lord say, come back to me, all right, all right. and that's now the time, the gates are open right now, for you to come back, and that's what we're doing, man, that's right. that, that remnant is coming back, you know, before that evil time, hey, Hey, we're, we're, we're repenting, we're saying we're sorry. You know, we messed up. Daily. You know? Yep, the, the little brother said daily. Are right, they giving our bodies a living sacrifice? Yeah. Uh, you know? We're trying to do what's right, man. And the Lord is, is pleased with that. He's pleased with this sacrifice, man. That's right. You know? But I'll keep reading this, I think, a little more. I think it's the 19th verse. Did you read that yet? 19, I'm ready to write Yep. The second edit chapter, 15, verse 19. A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor. Yep. Go. But shall destroy their house with the sword, and destroy their goods because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation. So people yep. gonna be poor, ain't gonna have people gonna, ain't gonna have no, no nothing to eat. They gonna bring in people houses yes. to take their shit. Yes. Plain and simple. Yeah, they're gonna resort to crime Good. just to live. That's right. Because like how the brother says, gonna be no food, no shelter, no water. And people, hey, hey, right now, what are they doing? We were talking about the carjackings, the robberies, because they they're trying to. Um, you know, uh, uh, you know, steal these cars. You know, go to the, try to shop. take them to the chop shop, get as much money as they can to do what? Pay off the bills. Right. You know. I, I, uh, that's for the spirit. I was just uh, a, a, a guy who makes our signs in the world. I, know. I was talking to him. He said one of his homies just got his car stolen. One of the 2020 uh, accidents. And he said uh, he had one of the trackers on it, so he tracked it all the way to this car wash out of Dalton. He said the car wash. There's a car wash in the front and chop shop in the back. Yep. So he says he comes in there and plays the game and he just said, man, he pulled his gun out and told him, take the shotgun and pull him and see the game. sorry, how the business goes, the guys probably just get those little kids, $15,000 yeah. in the car, and they just take the money they don't know who the hell they are, they just take the money, they got a real car, there's a computer shit all in, you know, easy come, easy go, but, you know, I know to it, like you say, use that money because a, a hungry man is an angry man. Yep. People don't have to eat nowadays, man. Hey. Why you hey, when you're walking down the street, hey, you gotta be watching people, man. Hey, that's why I said uh, you gotta walk circles, respectfully, man. You know, okay, because the days are evil, man. Right. You gotta walk in that wisdom, man. You know, you gotta, uh, if you can get that, what's that? Ephesians, uh, Daniel, what was that? Five and sixteen. You know, brother, can you get that real quick. I think it's five and sixteen. Shout. We got something. Right. Right. Yeah, get what you got, Ark. Right. It's the book of Jeremiah. Uh, chapter 30 and verse, uh, I'll start at verse 5. But thus saith Yahweh, we have heard a voice of trembling, of fear, and not of peace. Ask you now, and ask ye now, and see whether a man doth travail with child. And that's how, and that's the time that we're coming into it, man. Like, hey, uh, like when a woman gives a birth to a baby, you know, they go through a lot of pain, man. They, 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 they keep her, uh, you know, they go through a lot of pain, man, at this time that we're coming into Therefore, do I see every man with his hand on his loins, and as a woman in travail, and all the faces are turned into peril, uh, paleness. So we're coming into some uh, perilous times, man. 
All right, some evil uh, times, man. All right, even uh, these men, they, they're, they're gonna be scared, man. These men that they, they thought they were tough, man. All right, hey, if you don't have your Havbasha Masha with you, man, hey, you do, man. All right, here we're coming into the pestilence, famine, you know, death, destruction, blood. Hey, uh, oh hell is about to uh, break loose out in the streets, man. Shit's about to hit the fan, man. All right, and a lot of these people are not prepared, man. They're not ready, man, for the time that we're coming into, man. All right. The only people that's uh, prepared, man, is the Lord's elect, man. All right, the, the 144,000, which you hope to be, and the one-third, man. All right, which, uh, which consists of men, women, and children, all right? All right, verse uh, da, 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 seven. Uh, da, da. Alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. All right, it is even the time of Jacob's trouble. All right, so we're coming into the time of Jacob's trouble, man. Jacob's trouble is here, man. That's right. All right, this whole... Uh, 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 C19 pandemic, man. It's all pandemic. It's also it's all against you, Jake, man. All right, cause he, you know, Esau wants to wants to put that jab in you, wants to put that that chip in you, and Esau, Esau wants to get rid of y'all, man. You know, but uh, uh, you know, hey, Jacob troubles here is only gonna get worse, sir, man. That's right. All right, but he shall be saved out of it. And who's that he, man? And the elect, man. The Lord's elect is gonna be saved out, saved out of the time of Jacob's trouble, man. Hey, man, uh, dude, the Lord's elect is going to be eating, drinking, and the Lord's going to provide us with warmth, with shelter. Hey, the angels, uh, uh, the Lord campeth around him, uh, about him, who, who feareth him, or I'm paraphrase him. So, hey, man, the Lord's going to take care of us, man. We just got to put our trust in him. The Lord, man, you know? Let's get some of the last scriptures. Look at uh, the Ephesians. This is the book of Ephesians, chapter hey, 5. Hey, yeah, since we know that we're coming into the time of Jacob's trouble, hey, Akim. Hey, be smart out here, man. Be wise. Don't be walking out here as fools, man. You know? Be, be, pay attention to people, man. You know, don't be gullible. Right. Okay? These, these uh, marches and shit, these Black Lives Matter marches and everything. You know what I'm saying? All I was saying, when it was a little warmer outside, I was doing, uh, you know, it was a brother put up the video, and a nigga woman, you really did the same thing. She's like, man, I was at uh, one of these Black Lives Matter meetings and shit, uh, protests, and she said it was like, um, all of a sudden, Esau just got a call on their phone or something because all of, just, all of a sudden just looked at each other and put out on brothers and shit and just went to working out on busting shit up around them and shit, man. You know what I'm saying? So, people know what you're doing, man. And, and at the end of the day, man, we ain't supposed to be a part of that march and shit no way, man. The only march we doing right here is the Lord, man. Because right. they're in this fucking queen, man. Get up out of this punishment. Man. It says, uh, scripture says, give this, uh, here's no rest, man. That's right. All right, until uh, he makes uh, Jerusalem a praise, man. So, hey, man, we ain't, we ain't, we ain't, we ain't, we ain't stopping, man. We're gonna continue to uh, come out of the highways and byways until we can. We're going to continue to push, uh, you know, these videos each, each and every single right. day until they shut down the internet, man. That's right. All right, and we're going to keep the faith, man. You know, until the end, man. Forever, yeah, we, man. We in this for life, homes. Life, homes. Book of Ephesians chapter 5, verse 6, verse 15. <laughs> See then they keep walking circumspectly, yeah. not as fools, but as wise. That's right, yeah. You gotta walk with wisdom, man. You gotta uh, be like King David. What does it say? He behaved himself wisely. Uh -huh. Okay, yeah, you, you can't just you can't be reckless out here. You, you can't be uh, uh just tough, talking. You can't, you can't be tough, you can't be just talking to every person you, you know, encounter. You can't be nice to every person you encounter. Alright? Yes. You, you gotta really pay attention, man, because Hey, it's, we keep saying it's, it's gonna get worse. worse. And they, they, what does it say? Though? Was it that Matthew's, I think, 24 for brother can get it uh, uh, the love of many shall wax cold, I think it is. That's how it's working, right? I was just bringing that up. Uh, love of many shall wax cold. Yeah, that's right, man. You know? These people, hey, man, look, they're not gonna have mercy on you. You know what I'm saying? You don't wanna be around these people, man. Hey, they're, <laughs> hey it's a dog eat dog world. They're bloodthirsty. They're like Esau, man. They're like their daddy Esau. So he don't, don't be, you don't wanna be around these people, man. Yeah. You don't want to do what they do. They walk, they walk left, they walk right. You, know? yeah. yep. well, you don't eat no pork. Oh, come on, man. What's wrong with oh, you, God, brother? man? Just you that alone. Head, that alone, they look at you like you you lost your goddamn mind. Oh, you have three heads. <laughs> well, especially got the beard. Like, oh, yeah. Hey, look, you be crazy all the time. Like, why you got that beard? Why you got that beard? <laughs> like, it's on my face. <laughs> I'm like, I don't ask you what you got on your face. Why are you asking me? Right. right. <laughs> you got that idea? Yeah, so. Matthew uh, chapter 24 and 12 And because iniquity shall abound Yeah, wickedness, you know, evil, transgression shall abound Alright The love of many shall wax cold Yeah, because why? These people don't have a standard, they don't have a moral code, man 
good. So it's a, a, a doggy dog world. Do is not will. YOLO, that's what they yeah, say. YOLO. So they, so they yep. say YOLO. So they can do whatever they want to. They can go shoot wherever they want to. Go bang wherever they want to. Go do whatever the wickedness they want to do. That's what I people feel. That's the vibration this place pushes them to. You know? Yep. They don't see greatness, man. Our people don't want to see greatness, man. They'd rather dwell in a, a, a low vibration, man. A wicked vibration, man. Okay. And that's our people, man. That's the go try to Israel right there, man. So our message is for y'all to come up out of that wickedness, man. Nope. At the end of the day. This is Ephesians chapter 5, verse 16. Redeeming the task because the days are evil. Yeah, so since we know that the days are evil, all right? Since we know that it's gonna, you know, it's nothing but bad times, you know, uh, from here on out. Hey man, we gotta be wise, man. You know, you can't be a damn dummy out here. It is, it, man. Like, it's you. You. You really gotta, uh, 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 man. Walk with that wisdom. That's all I can say. Yeah, you can't think like a heathen. Yeah, you gotta have that godly vibration. You gotta have that that heavenly, uh, uh, um, you know, mind frame on you. You gotta think. Uh, what does it say in the scriptures? Uh, 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 um, have the same mind as your how shot. You know, roughly paraphrasing it. You gotta have that same mind, man. Okay. okay. Is in there, you know. Uh, what are those manly words, man? You know. Uh, integrity. Day. There you go. Hell yeah. Man. Guys, yeah. You know. So it is. It just, this is the time period that we're living in, brothers, man. This is only gonna get worse, you know. So right. it should be wise. Uh, you brothers got anything else? They prayed up, man. She said facts. You know, especially in the time that we're coming in, they prayed up, man. You know, we hope you ratified. You know, hey, couldn't keep it too long because hey, it's it is brick cold out here today, man. It's like, it's like 10 degrees below with the wind chill, probably like negative something. And lakes right there. Yeah, yeah, and we're by the lake, so. Hey, man, Paul, we ain't saying he responded to calls out here. <laughs> <laughs> no, man. Yeah, 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 man. You know, we're going to give all praise on and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Rakaq Wadash. Also, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, and salutations to all you brothers out there. Shalom. 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 Shalom.